and thanks Good for morning. your time. Now, I want to go, yes, finally, we have a cure. I want to celebrate, but I'm feeling like I should be cautious. Right, so this is very exciting yeah. news for the field in, in a number of, of ways. And I think that for many years, um, scientists have, have really grappled with, with the concept of, of cure. There was the case um, 12 years ago of Timothy Brown, who was really the first person who had been essentially cured um, of HIV. Mm -hmm. And then there's the second London patient um, who appears to have been cured for 19 months. Yeah. There is a, a third patient in the sort of works called the Düsseldorf patient who's been cured for about four months. Yeah. So essentially what scientists were, were doing w with these patients, the, the actual um, procedures were not aimed at curing HIV. They were in fact aimed at curing cancer. Yeah. So the first patient had a leukemia. This patient had a Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's a quite a grueling um, procedure, really, to do a bone marrow yeah. um, transplant on someone. Timothy Brown, in fact, uh, there, were, there were descriptions that he almost died on occasion and was very, very, very ill. Yeah. This particular uh, patient seemed to have had an easier uh, course. It's these days, I think, less toxic um, chemotherapy and immunosuppressive drugs or drugs that actually dampen down the immune system are, are used. And essentially what happens is that the host person's um, bone marrow is kind of wiped out and then transplanted with new bone marrow. Yeah. Now, what was unique about this, this new bone marrow is that it had a, a certain mutation called the CCR5 mutation, yeah. which is a protein which sits on the human cells and really allows HIV infection into the cell and then allows replication of HIV. So when these cells were transplanted, the, 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 both of those patients now had cells that actually didn't recognize HIV any longer. So they managed to, to clear HIV and then they fortunately, well, Timothy Brown is on preventative therapy, so there, are, there is still a possibility mm -hmm. that he could become reinfected. I was just going to say, we, we could call it a, a remission of sorts, I don't know. Would yes, we call essentially, it a and I think there, there are a number of different ways that people describe it, and I think one of the most accurate are really remission or kind of a virological control. Yeah. Um, so there, there are numerous, I, I think that these cases probably though represent the closest that we, that we can get. So these cure. treatments and, 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 and just reading uh, on, on what the, um, the field, what, what the scientists are grappling with is, they, they're not sure whether it was the chemotherapy, whether it was the radiation, whether it was the stem cell transplant or a combo of everything. How do we pinpoint what has led to this remission? Absolutely, and I, and I think that that's, that's what's very difficult. And so yeah. I think that they are combing through all the different aspects of the evidence at the moment, really looking at, you know, what, what was it and, and really what does it mean is it for the field yeah. going forward. Yeah. And absolutely, and I think, you know, certainly Timothy Brown has in be, been in remission for 12 years. Yeah. This, this um, newer patient, it's 19 months, so I, th I think people are still watching very, very closely to make sure that he doesn't have a, a viral reaction rebound again mm. and, and come out of remission again. Now also very interesting, Ali, I'm just looking here saying that the uh, Delta 23 donors, that's the, the stem cell, yes, right, are right. primarily found in Caucasian, we're talking white people. The right. London patient uh, remission gives important insights into the mechanisms, they say, of cure. Uh, so what does that mean, especially for us in South Africa, Africa? Right, so I think that, you know, certainly this is, these are very niche um, procedures they at this stage very experimental and are being done on, yeah. on very small numbers of people and obviously with a, a bone marrow um, transplant you need very high um, degrees of, of sort of correlation and things so it you know it seems that at this stage it would be very difficult to to think of um, such a donor being able to to donate um, yeah, potentially in the South African work, yeah. um, context. I think what it means for South Africa, so certainly there is um, some South African research that's ongoing around looking at cure, but it's been very much 
directed towards um, infants and, and uh, pediatric patients really with early treatment and, and some of those results we, we are waiting for. Okay. Um, I think reassuringly our, our South African HIV program is exceptionally strong and so we, we know that although of course no one would, would want to be HIV infected, we know that HIV has become a chronic illness that is, is very well But people controlled. are living with it. People and are living, they, living healthy we lives. We expect yeah. that people should live full and, and healthy mm. lives and there's also a lot of progress in the prevention field so in terms of um, oral uh, prophylaxis and a whole lot of other prevention methods coming coming down the pike so I think we have to sort of be excited about these cure cases but also realize that it is business as usual and we have to make sure yeah. that for our population we continue to supply excellent um, treatment for HIV in infected um, patients and then really try and prevent HIV um, with all the ongoing efforts. And this could just be extraordinary cases. We don't know if these men have something in common, something else, another gene, another, who knows? I mean, science is science, right? Absolutely. All right. Okay, thanks very much for that caution. That's uh, Dr. Lee Ferry. She's from the Vitz Reproductive Health and HIV Institute.